adultery. Meg accused of making out with guard Chris at Taylor Swift Eras tour while Harry's busy in Japan. Amidst the rumors of an affair of these Sussexes, as well as Megan's affair, recently, while Harry was busy in Japan, Megan was caught appearing at Taylor Swift's The Eras Tour. It's worth mentioning that many viewers have seen a person like Megan having intimate actions with bodyguards right at Taylor's concert. This makes many people think that Meg refuses to go to Japan with her husband to have an affair with the bodyguard. The Duchess of Sussex jammed with thousands of Taylor Swift fans during the singer's LA Eras Tour top. The source confirms to people that the Duchess of Sussex attended Taylor Swift's performance at Los Angeles' SoFi Stadium on Tuesday during the Eras Tour, California. As Swift launched her into Fearless Era, telling the excited crowd, let's go back to high school, Megan jumped up out of her chair to sing along to You Belong With Me. Page Six, which was first to report the news, said Megan attended with her friend Lucy Frazier. Although Prince Harry did not join his wife as he's overseas, he's been to SoFi Stadium since they located to Meghan's home state in 2020, after stepping back from their royal roles. In 2022, he attended the Super Bowl at the venue alongside his cousin, Princess Eugenie, who was visiting from the UK. Meghan's night out came as Prince Harry spends time in Asia. On Tuesday, the Duke of Sussex was filmed arriving at Haneda Airport in Japan ahead of Wednesday's ISPS Sports Value Summit Special Edition in Tokyo. He was joined by his friend and polo star, Ignacio Nacho Figueras, who was also participating in the summit. Prince Harry will next travel to Singapore for the 2023 Sensible ISPS Hand of Polo Cup on Saturday. King Charles' younger son launched Sensible with Prince Ciso of Lesotho in 2006 to help children and young people affected by poverty, inequality, and HIV and AIDS in Africa. Since 2010, the annual polo game has raised over $14 million for the organization's work. Prince Harry will trot onto the pitch this weekend to play on the Royal Salute Sensible team at the Singapore Polo Club. Meanwhile, Figueras, a long-standing Sensible ambassador, will captain the Singapore Polo Club team. The equestrian event will mark a return to familiar turf as the Sensible Royal Salute Polo Club was held at the Singapore Polo Club in 2017. The time apart comes just four days after the couple celebrated Meghan's 42nd birthday and almost a week after they stepped out for dinner at Trey Lewin in Montecito, not far from their home. Page Six was the first to unveil this star-studded rendezvous, revealing that Meghan was accompanied by her guard, Chris Sanchez. Despite Prince Harry's absence, who is currently abroad, Meghan's presence created quite the stir. Her presence at the Taylor Swift Eras tour has surprised many internet users considering Swift had refused to participate in her podcast despite a handwritten note sent by the Duchess. Swift not only rejected the note, but didn't even bother responding herself. After searching the entire internet for images, fans were left aghast as to why there are no images of Meghan at the concert. Meanwhile, across the globe, Prince Harry ventured to Asia, commencing his engagements in Tokyo. The Duke of Sussex was captured on camera at Haneda Airport, setting the stage for the ISPS Sports Valley Summit Special Edition, scheduled for Wednesday in Singapore. Before that, Meghan Markle allegedly cheated on Prince Harry with a bodyguard named Chris Sanchez. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's marriage has been surrounded by controversies after multiple declarations against the royal family. However, something drew the attention of the media after it was revealed that Meghan Markle allegedly had an affair with her bodyguard. The rumors first surfaced a couple of months ago. According to In Touch, the Duchess of Sussex had an affair with Christopher Sanchez, a bodyguard who has also worked with former presidents George Bush and Barack Obama. He started working for her a couple of months ago and it was love at first sight.